Welcome back to Invest Trend, where we take the guest track out of property investing. In today's video, I'm going to be answering the question you have been asking about how much money do you need in order for you to invest in property? And the second question actually, which comes after this one is usually, do I actually need money in order for me to invest in real estate? So if you're a smart investor, somebody who wanna make an informed decision, these questions matter to you because firstly, you wanna know how much money, if there's any money that you need that you have to have before you get into like a real estate investment. The second one is, do you actually need money at all in order for you to invest in real estate? I'm gonna be answering those questions in today's video. Let's get into it. I'm gonna to cut to the chase. You need money to invest in real estate. Either it's your money or somebody else's money, that's a different story. But money has to be there in order for you to invest in property and so you can be able to own a property. If you wanna sell property, that's a different story, but if you wanna invest and own a property, there's money required. And either it's your money, or somebody else's money, that's a different story, and we're gonna be exploring that today. So how much money do you need in order for you to invest? So now, let's talk about that right now. So to answer your first question of how much money do you actually need in order for you to invest in property, I'm gonna take you through our investment platform so you can see exactly how much money you need with a practical example. So this is the cheapest property we have right now available on our platform. It's going for around 360,000 Rand and it's generating 8,500 per month. So if we scroll down on this property, you'll be able to see that the buying costs of this property, which refer to your bond registration fees, your transfer fees, and our platform fee that we charge, and most importantly, the renovation that you need to do in order for you to take your rental income up, adds up to around 78,000 Rand. So if you're buying a property like this, which is cash flow positive already, and what do I mean by saying cash flow positive? Let's scroll down and see exactly what I mean by cash flow positive. Cash flow positive means that you have an income of 8.5, you pay your region taxes levies, of course your management fees, you also have your maintenance fee, and most importantly, you pay off your bond on a monthly basis, and you still find a cash flow of around 1,720 per month. Month. So this is your cash flow, which adds up to your annual cash flow of around 20,000 Rand for this type of property. So if you're somebody who is maybe investing for cash flow purposes, then of course this is the type of property you'll be considering because you're looking to get passive income on a monthly basis. And in order for you to buy a property like that, you would need, of course, the 78,000 Rand that is up there. Of course, that's something that's very, very important. So definitely you do need some money one way or the other, and that's something that's very, very important. So the second thing that is important is, do I actually need this money in my bank account in order for me to get started when I'm investing in property? The answer is no. You don't actually need the money in your bank account. You can perhaps do two ways. Either you can start by maybe getting becoming an agent, selling some properties, raising the 78,000 Rand, and partnering up with somebody who has a bond that can actually apply for a bond of 36,000 Rand. That's one way you can partner up with somebody. The second way is maybe you know how to identify and find a property that is profitable, and that takes some skill set. If you have that type of skill set, and you can also be able to manage it nicely that it meets its objective on a monthly basis. That's also another way to do this. What do I mean by this is that you would then go identify a property, be able to underwrite it to make sure that it's making a good profit and make sure that you can be able to package it as an investment. Of course, that takes a lot of work because you have to check all the documentation, the financial models and all of those things and be able to find somebody who is keen to put the cash and also also the bond in order for them to partner up with you because you'll be running this place at a successful investment property. So I hope that I answered the two questions that you had, which is firstly, how much money do you need to get started for the cheapest type of property that is cash flow positive? You definitely need to have around 70,000 Rand or 78,000 Rand, uh, ideally 80,000. And then if you're somebody who has no money at all and you want to be able to 
how, find out how you can get investing in property. And if you're somebody who has no money at all and you wanna figure out how do you actually get started, maybe find somebody who has the bond, maybe they have the, the cash, and you're somebody who can find the right property that is an investment property. Underwrite it, make sure that everything checks out. You can put the financial model together. You can maybe make sure that you are able to vet it. That is the right type of investment property because there's so many mistakes that could happen here. Maybe the building is not financeable by the bank. Maybe there are reserve levies. Maybe there are special levies. Maybe there's so many other things that could go wrong that could eat out on your cash flow. And you just need to make sure that the building is well run, they have latest financials and all of those things. This is tough for somebody who is new in real estate. So if you have a coach and you have somebody who can be able to help you, mentor you in this journey, then you can be able to do this thing by yourself. So otherwise, if you wanna work with us at InvestFriend, we always put a link below and you can be able to get in touch with us and we can be able to help you. If you don't have the 78,000 right and you only qualify for a bond and you don't have this money, I wouldn't recommend you booking this call. I would say work towards raising your buying cost to around 80,000 right and get in touch with us, let us help you. And if you're somebody who has no money at all, is not employed, maybe you don't even have any cash at all to invest, I would say the first thing you wanna do is maybe get a coach out there. Maybe watch more of these videos and once you have the money to invest, uh, you can be able to take advantage of our platform, our guidance and our service providers and the financing options that we can connect you with and be able to accelerate your property investing but otherwise have a great time and i hope that this video was helpful for you and i'll see you next time and i hope you took the guess we got our property investing make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed and also make sure that you like this video so a lot more people can be able to get it and i'll see you later bye